Innovative organizations, number two, they're dealing with this issue of velocity. You know, they're, 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 what they're developing is the capability to respond faster to faster marketplace change, faster consumer change, faster competitive change. It's their ability to scale and adapt and change at a rapid pace. I want you to think about the concept of business velocity. Business velocity. You know, I spent some time with a company in the video game industry, and they were talking about business velocity in their industry. The video game industry is a very fast, very high velocity industry. You know, the, the, the fellow was indicating when a typical video game comes out, some 45 to 70 percent of the total profit made in that video game occurs in the first four to five days of sale. Think about that. That's a very high velocity industry. You know, and the customer is engaged in a different way, the customer is marketed to in a different way, but increasingly the customer is driven by very high rates of velocity. A lot of the organizations I spend time to, we focus on the issue of how do we innovate in a high velocity economy? How do we accomplish that? What do we do? How do we transition quickly in terms of what we're producing, in terms of what we're marketing, in terms of what we're taking to the customer? I was in New York City in September with the Reader's Digest Food and Entertainment Group, the publishers of Every Day with Rachel Ray. We had packaging companies, we had food companies, we had Madison Avenue advertising companies. And the entire focus of our time together was how do we innovate in a high velocity economy? And we had food organizations who were sitting there and saying, you know, this is different in terms of what we could do 10 years ago. 10 years ago, we were slow, we were ponderous, we didn't respond quickly to a change in economic circumstances. What we need to do now was the focus of their conversation. What we need to do now is we need to make sure you know, that we're changing our branding, we're changing our marketing, we're coming out with new products which are going to appeal to the likely reality that consumers are going to spend more time at home. That they will be spending more time at home and spending less time perhaps in restaurants. We're going to reformulate our message. We're going to reformulate our brand. We're going to come out with new products, you know, which are comfort driven. Because during a recessionary time, people are seeking comfort. The entire focus of that industry conference was how do we innovate faster? High velocity change. You know, there was even an individual at that conference who was a stock photographer. Somebody who, you know, goes out and takes stock photos and sells them to Madison Avenue advertising agencies. And they made the observation that the weekend before, they were up, uh, up in Pennsylvania taking pictures of Amish farmers because they could foresee that we would quickly see advertising campaigns that were built around the concept of, of comfort, built around the concept of the consumer wants to feel safe, and that the imaging and branding around products would play into that. How do we innovate at a high velocity to keep up with rapidly changing consumers? I talk a lot of, at, the, at a lot of food industry conferences, and you know, what we find is very rapid change in terms of you know, the, the choices that people are making. The fresh cut food industry almost doubled in size in a matter of one year. New, new, new recipes go from upscale restaurants to broad acceptance in, in, in the broad part of the population in about 18 months now compared to five, five years, you know, several years ago. Things are simply changing faster than ever before. And what innovative organizations do is they sit back and they challenge themselves every single day. How do we act faster? How do we collaborate more? How do we, throughout the organization, share the ideas as to what we're achieving? in terms of market growth and product innovation and branding innovation and operational excellence? How do we collaborate more? How do we remove slow barriers? Where do we, where do we have barriers in, in, in how we think and how we act that are inherently slowing us down when our world is becoming that much faster? Innovative organizations are re-engaging with the new consumer.